Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here via Zoom. And today I'm going to give a lesson on how you can use your iPhone to set up your voicemail. So let's go ahead and go to your contacts. Now, my contacts are pinned to the bottom of my screen. That means I can move any place, move my screens, any place that I want to go. And uh, that bottom of the screen always stays put. Now, if you don't know how to rearrange your icons yet, and you're using VoiceOver, you can touch double tap. Now, the second tap, you need to touch and hold and press until your screen goes through all your edit options and then goes into the option where you can actually delete. And what you want to do, press and hold, and you can move your icons around your screen wherever you go. And if you move them to another icon, be aware that you're going to make a group. If you don't want to make a group, then just place them where you want. Now, I have already placed my icons where I want, so I'm going to hit my home key to stop all my icons from jiggling or giving me the ability to delete them. I'm going to go ahead and go to my phone contacts. And this uh, app, of course, takes you through your favorites, your recents, your contacts, your keypad, and your voicemail. I always tell my students, when you have voiceover on, put your finger on your screen and move it around so you actually visually understand where the placement is of all your icons and your work. When you understand this, you can easily touch with a start at the top left, top right, bottom left, or bottom right. Well, I know my voicemail is at the bottom right. Double tap and open your voicemail. And then once you hit your voicemail, which mine is open, I'm going to go ahead and go to the top left and I'm going to touch greeting and open it. If you're not sure where your icons are at, I always tell my students, take two fingers, swipe down your screen and listen to your icons. This is going to be true if you're going into your settings especially. And the tree view is really long. The thing is, two fingers swipe down, you listen for what you want, let's say something like, you know, your passcode, then you can just take your two fingers, touch your screen once, and it stops it from talking. Then you, of course, if you've passed it, you can flick uh, down or flick up to get where you want to go. Okay, so I already have my greeting set up. Because I'm doing screen share, I actually cannot do a record. But what you're going to do, two fingers swipe down once again, as soon as you hear play, record, two finger, touch your screen, stop it from talking. If you went past, go ahead and flick to it. You're going to touch your record button. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you understand where record is, uh, you hit record, stop is right there also. So you double tap on record to record your message, and then tap and double tap on stop to stop it. Uh, you also want to make sure you're doing a customize. Well, it's automatically going to select custom as soon as you do a recording. I've done a recording on this, and this is my recording. This is Dr. Denise Robinson. Please leave a message, and I'll return your call as soon as possible. If you like that, you're going to go to the top right-hand corner of your screen, and you're going to double tap save and close. If you do not, just go through the record process again. I like my recording. I'm going to go ahead and go to the top left-hand corner and double tap cancel and cancel. And now I have all my information in my voicemail. So then when I actually go and just move my finger down the screen, I can open them, go to the play button and play my options and hear my voicemail. So that is how easy it is to operate and set up your voicemail. Okay, talk to you later. Subscribe to the channel and let's keep learning.